oral history interview for Deborah Remington with Jay Gorney. Jay has had over 25 years of experience exhibiting contemporary art and is known for his talent in discovering young contemporary artists. Jay, how and when did you first meet Deborah? Oh my goodness. Uh, I met Deborah, it, it would be 1977, unless it was the very end of 76, when Pat Hamilton and I were opening the Hamilton Gallery. And Deborah was part of, you know, uh, uh, the group of artists that Pat Hamilton had um, um, put together for this uh, very 70s art gallery. Uh, so I met Deborah in advance of the gallery's opening in 77. Um, you know, she was a blast. I mean, she was, I think, you know, the, the word people use is feisty. And I've learned by now that a difficult artist generally just knows exactly what he or she wants. Deborah knew. Uh, as every artist does, thought the world of her work, wanted the best for her work, wanted the best for her career, and um, would uh, be v virulent in, in uh, uh, her, her attempts to get it. Um, so in a way, Deborah's work fit in, in that it was um, you know, a gallery that was very much about art making in the 1970s, and how um, American art in the 1970s was understood and viewed. Of course, Deborah's, Deborah Remington's paintings never fit anywhere. So, you know, that said, uh, her paintings are so absolutely unique and idiosyncratic that, you know, a tough artist to hang in a group show. Drawing is often the entry point for an artist, for me anyway. Drawing is immediate and the, it's, Drawing can provide the most direct connection with uh, what an artist is thinking. But what appeals to me about Debra, those Adelphi drawings is what appeals to me about Deborah's work in general. Uh, they make uh, many people cringe. I embrace them. I think they're difficult, emphatic, as I said, idiosyncratic works. Um, the Remington image, that sort of... Uh, carefully rendered abstract image floating in a field is, you know, they're dark and they're sort of goth. They represent armor. They speak to, I don't know, the Japanese samurai. Um, they're, you know, and, and the, the sort of skill, they're, they're beautifully rendered things, the, both the paintings and the, the, the drawings, uh, that are at once so specific and so abstract. Um, they're head scratchers for so many people. I just love them. I think they're um, um, wonderful and challenging, and I find them very beautiful. But, I mean, but you know, I love the thorniest, the most difficult Remingtons. I love, you know, I love those tough, weird, gradated paintings. They really speak to me.